Hello world, PDR coming at you here with a 2017 Volvo. I think it's an S60. Um, I always do this. Let me go on. S60. Of course, I'm looking at the car. I know my Volvos, guys. So anyway, this one um, came in contact with a yellow pole. Uh, it had a yellow scuff from hat. here to here. Oh, my hat. Let me turn my hat around so you guys can see me as we inspect this dent a little bit. It doesn't look that severe, but it actually is a minor collision, um, meaning this vehicle hit a pole, so the weight of, you know, 1,500 pounds barely bumped in and then stopped. So um, I took, I had a little yellow scuff up here. You still see a little residual of it. I've got my perfected out and uh, meditation music going on. And we're just gonna start off by prepping this surface, cleaning it up a little hitting it up with the perfect it um, at this point in the videos when I say I sure do appreciate everybody that uh, clicks on this video I really do so if you guys don't mind um, hitting the subscribe button you'll be informed every time we have new comment content oh comment please leave a comment if you'd like to you know see a different type of dent or different type of uh, you know ask me a question of you know, what products or things I'm using as far as right now, the tools that I'm going to be mainly focusing on is squishy right here, my double bend, uh, interchangeable tip, and then my number one. Uh, I'm just going to access through here. I haven't even gotten any access yet, but since it's a Volvo, I know that we basically only have this one screw and then a couple of the little inner uh, flanges. They're not even clips. They just hold themselves underneath this lip. So I can basically pop that lip just out. Uh, let's get a teeny bit more product because I still see some residual on there. And uh, the product that I'm using is Perfect It 3M product, and it's uh, that's the stock number on it. But I basically use this on every job, even if it's a you know perfectly nice surface. And I take the dent out. I'll usually hit it up with a. Uh, little bit of perfect it when I'm done maybe on the off chance that I didn't do any tapping on a little tiny dent I won't but uh, this stuff does wonders it leaves the surface nice and shiny um, and doesn't leave any scratch marks in the paint but there is one step higher that's called finesse it and that's just for the swirl marks in case you're using a actual buffer so we're keeping you in for the prep work part of this. Now let's just show you my access. What I'm gonna do is go like this, put my tool right up against the side of that plastic, and then right in there. And you see those little flanges? That's only two years worth of dirt, because it's 17. But see that little flange I just popped it out from? There's another one right here, there. And there might be another one down here. There we go. So basically, boom, I could get my little wedge and hold this open, or I could just go one more, maybe another one back here, and then just kind of push this back. And honestly, feeling in here, I am, I can get up to right here, and then there's foam. So what we're gonna be doing, guys, is most likely not using, let's see how much room I have, okay. So there's a space this wide with this much foam in it that goes out this far. It's for sound deadening to keep this panel from shaking in, and it probably uh, made this dent less severe. But that just means that I can't get my nice thick tool all the way back and all around it. I'm gonna have to slide in with something like this behind that foam and then do a twisty like that. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna have to sneak in. Now I'm going up to the top up here just to show you where I'm at. And I'm gonna have to sneak in and then make some really light pulls. And if you see what I'm doing with my hand here, I'm coming in, finding my tip there and making some light pulls towards myself. And just bringing that metal out super, super slowly. I'm not making any severe pushes at all. These pushes are probably a pound and a half, two pounds of pressure, but they're right in the right spot 
And like I say, I got this little piece of foam behind me. So I've only worked on the very top inch and gotten it to about 60%. And we're gonna have to work a 12 inch long dent to, uh, you know, as good as we can, which I always say 95 to 98% or 95 to 99% or something like that. If I can get it as close to perfect as possible. Now I'm kind of down in the middle. I'm just checking the tension of this metal a little bit, looking for the right angle. Um, it is extremely tight in there, but since I'm right here, I'm just gonna baby up this little low valley right here and keep you guys in for some of the some of the main work. I'm right behind that scratch. I'm right behind this little seven shaped scratch. And it's, the scratch does make it tough to see. So I'm making very slow, very slight, very delicate pushes. I do appreciate you guys sticking with us for this one. We haven't made a video in about a week, week and a half. And it's always good to be making a video. Um, thank you to all the new family members that have subbed lately. We sure appreciate you. guys because the key to this is getting it out obviously with no push marks no cracked paint I'm gonna spend about 45 minutes working this area we might do some speedies we might uh, you know show you how it goes sounds like we got a little bit of noise coming in but uh, in the meantime I'm just gonna keep on working on this we'll come back and show you either the end result or you know more progress here in just a bit guys I'd say I'm about halfway maybe 60% done sip of the coffee there um, we've got a really fine angle on it it still starts here and ends about here but we're obviously a lot slighter a lot of that scuff came out I did stick squishy in there and I'm just going up against this foam it's not like a uh, strong foam it's just kind of like a a sound dampener but it's not super strong so like I'll be down here in this area with the side of the tip actually right down there and I'm just kind of jamming it into that stuff and giving it nice little turns uh, so yeah I've been doing this for about an hour and I've got about another I don't know maybe maybe half hour on it Maybe a little bit more but we're just trying to get it out as nice and smooth as possible I thought I'd bring you guys in for uh, some of the actual middle work where we're just making real nice slow pushes and you can see that um, it looks like I'm moving the tool a lot but it's it's got some give to it so once it starts pushing the metal then I slow down I make my push and then I back off um, it's just one of those dents that has a lot of area to move. So uh, we can't really take it fast. We just got to take it slow and just do what the metal will allow. Keep on working it up until it's nice and flush. This little area is getting a little tight, so I'm going to move around and get some other areas. But I know it's getting hard for you guys to see. Um, when it gets hard for me to see, then I know I'm making some real progress. I'm just coming in and cleaning up all these lows. Sometimes I got to grab number one. And actually, I might even want to grab Bertha to get me a finer angle back here and be able to work on it from farther back. See, now I can kind of catch that visual that I need and just make some nice baby pushes in the bottom here. And with Bertha, I don't have to push the tool hard at all to move that metal. So guys, I think what I'm gonna do here is just keep on working, maybe turn that meditation music back on. Uh, we are out here in the elements, so hopefully the sound is okay. We're using the um, external mic. We're not using the mic that goes on my lapel. So um, last time we used it, everybody said the sound said gr sounded great. So. 
why not? We don't have too much background noise and I'm just tooling away on this one. Um, so I tell you what we'll do. We'll just keep on working on this one and we'll come back and show you the end result in just a bit. Okay guys, we're back and here's what we ended up with. I think that the dent came out pretty nice. The two little scratches, um, the touch-up paint was the same color, but I can only do what, I mean, I'm a, I'm a painter, I'm pretty good with the hands, but real lightly put in two or three coats, and then I use the clear portion. They have two um, colors, and when you lay this color down, it's super blue looking, and then when it dries, it dries the right color. And then the clear is actually a pearl clear. So this is a silver pearl paint. Let's show you with the board what we ended up with. As far as the, looks like there's a little scuff down here I might want to buff. But as far as the lines and being straight, the dent that started from here and went to here is uh, now gone. I'd say there's maybe a 1% wave, maybe a 2% wave to it. Um, and right where it was the most dicey right here, just because of the scratch, has a tiny little wave to it. But I think the customer's gonna be super happy with the result. Um, if you guys like this video, Hit us up with a like. Um, we sure appreciate it, and the channel sure grows every time uh, you know somebody subs and somebody hits it up with a like or shares it. We sure love to see the community grow. Looks like there's a little piece of broken plastic there, probably from the same exact thing. Um, but other than that, hey, you know, I'll just uh, I'll just call this one uh, pretty darn good, and. Uh, other than that, I can say a couple of things to you. God bless you, and this has been PDR, and I'm out. Peace.